Hi, good evening to all, all are fine, all are happy. Welcome back again to the part 3 video of female reproductive system. Okay, in this part we talk about external genitalia. Okay, this external genitalia is otherwise called as or collectively called as vulva. Because it includes a number of structures. Okay, they are collectively called vulva. Okay. If you're talking about external genitalia, it include a number of things. The first one, if you're talking about, that is mons pubis. The first one, you can call it mons pubis. You can find out this area. And try to guess my the second one we are talking about, that is clitoris. This is clitoris, you can see here. And if you're talking about the third one, that is called vestibule yes or no you can find out this area is called vestibule and if you take on the next one that is called labia minora okay this is a red structure you can find out that is called labia minora and if you take on the fifth one that is called labia majora majora yes and the sixth one if you take on that is called Yes, labia majora, if you take about this, this area, yes, so which one, that is labia majora. And the final one, if you take about, that is called perineum. Okay, this part, that is perineum. Okay, these are the structures, are basically, which one, collectively called external genitalia, or you can call it vulva. Okay, the first one, if you take about, mons pubis. We are taking about the which pubis? Mons pubis, clear? Let us focus first one, that is mons pubis. It is the anterior most part of the external genitalia. It is found in the anterior most region. Yes. Anterior most part of vulva. Okay. That's the anterior most part of the vulva. If you take the second one, try to guess my dear. It is which one? It is a cushion of fatty tissue. It is a cushion of fatty tissue. You know cushion? Okay, that is basically used to sleep. Okay, try to guess my It is a cushion of fatty tissue covered by skin. Okay, and it is rich in pubic hairs. It is rich in, you can find out, large number of hairs are found in the which one? Mons pubis region. Clear? So, this is a basic fundamental about Mons pubis. If you take on the next part, that is clitoris. Yes, this is the structure that is basically clitoris. It is a teeny finger like structure. Finger like structure or P like structure. Okay, P like structure. Okay, it is homologous to. Penis of men. You know, in case of human male, that is a structure is found that is called penis. That is the copulatory organ. And try to guess my dear, this which one clitoris is homologous to penis of man. Okay. This clitoris in case of female is basically a non-functional, non-functional or rudimentary. Okay, it is a non-functional and rudimentary structure. Okay, this is non-functional clitoris as non-functional or rudimentary structure. Okay, or you can call that vestigial structure. It is a vestigial structure, matlab non-functional and rudimentary. Yes, if you take on the next part, it is covered by foreskin. Okay, there is a, some sort of skin covering of us found or it is covered by foreskin that is called prepuce. You can find out here the sclerosis is covered by foreskin that is called which pubes prepuce. Okay, so this is a basic fundamental idea about clitoris. Okay, and another point if I tell you, try to focus my it is found at the it is found at the anterior junction of 
to labia minor. This is the labia minor you can find out here. It is found anterior junction of. Okay. It is found at the anterior junction of labia minora. It is found at the anterior junction of which minora? Labia minora. Clear? So, this is the basic fundamental about clitoris. Okay? Let us focus my way. So, now we talk about the next part. The next part is vestibule. Okay? Vestibule. If you talk about the vestibule, that's our third part. You can find out this much, this area. It's called vestibule. There is a depression found. There is a depression found at the center of the at the center of the vulva. We can call that vestibule. Yes. A depression found at the central part of vulva known as visible vestibule yes it includes it includes two openings two openings so what is that you will tell what is that that is one is called which one urethral orifice okay it includes two openings the one is urethral orifice there is a small opening found at the anterior part on the upper part and the second part if we take on the second opening yeah, that is called is a, which one large opening that is called which orifice vaginal orifice which orifice vaginal orifice yes this urethral orifice helps in urination yes what is the urine is produced Okay, and that predip, that urine is which one thrown outside by the help of which orifice? Urethral orifice. And try to focus my dear. If you take about which one, the next part, the second one opening that is called vaginal orifice, it is meant for copulatory organ. Yes, try to focus my dear. Vaginal orifice meant for copulation or reception of the penis. Okay. Clear? So, this is the basic fundamental about the two openings which are found in the vestibule. Apart from that, two openings, it includes vestibular glands. Okay? It includes which glands? Vestibular glands. There is basically, this vestibular glands, yes, you can find out here vestibular gland and here vestibular glands. This vestibular glands are of two types. One is called lesser vestibular gland and the second one is called greater vestibular glands okay one is called lesser vestibular glands and the second one is called greater vestibular glands okay the lesser vestibular glands are basically found at the junction of urethral orifice and vaginal orifice found lesser vestibular glands found at the junction of urethral orifice and vaginal orifice yes they secretes mucus the secretes mucus yes and if you take about the next one if you take about the which one this lesser vestibular glands is otherwise called glands of skinny these are otherwise called glands of skinny okay and these are homologous to this is an important point these are homologous to prostate gland of yes, try to guess my dear. Very interestingly, which one? This is which one? Lesser vestibular glands secretes what? Mucus. And this lesser vestibular glands are similar to or homologous to prostate gland of men. Clear? So this much. Yes. 
If you're talking about the greater vestibular glands, these are otherwise called Bartholin's gland. Okay, the greater vestibular glands are Bartholin's gland. Yes. If you're talking about the lesser vestibular gland, these are numerous in number. These are numerous, मतलब more in number. But try to guess, my dear, the greater vestibular gland, these are one pair in number. Okay, greater vestibular gland, these are one pair in number and opens to vaginal orifice. These are basically opens to vaginal orifice face orifice. Yes, this is one pair number. And the secrets, the secrets, alkaline. The alkaline fluid, the secret is alkaline fluid which neutralizes the acidity. Which neutralizes the acidity of semen. As well as the secretion is act as a lubricating fluid. Okay, try to focus mind. When the vagina receives the penis, try to focus mind on friction occurs, which occurs, friction occurs. To reduce the friction, we require some fluid. Okay, and try to focus mind this uh, lubricating fluid as basically secreted from greater vestibular gland, or you can call that Bartholin's gland. Okay, for that reason, this greater vestibular gland is similar to Cowper's gland of man. Cowper's gland of man. The greater vestibular glands are similar to. You know Cowper's gland? The Cowper's gland in case of male or bulbourethral gland is otherwise called Cowper's gland and it is secretes a lubricating fluid. It is one pairing number and in the similar manner we are trying to focus on the greater vestibular glands or Bartholin's glands also secretes lubricating fluid. Yes? So this is basically greater vestibular glands are similar to Cowper's gland. Of oh, man. Clear? So, these are the basic fundamental about which one? Vestibule. And this vestibule is covered by which one? Labia minora and labia majora. Okay, let us focus my dear. We are going to the next part that is labia minora. Labia minora. These are the small folds of skin. There is which one? A one pair of, or which one? There is two small folds of skin. There are two small folds of skin present around the vestibule. Okay. Small folds of skin present around the vestibule. We can call that labia minora. Yes? Clear? And try to look at my name on this one. These are devoid of hairs. These are devoid of hairs. You don't found hairs here. Yes? And try to look at my name in the posterior part. The posterior junction of the labia minora. Is called forcite. The posterior junction of labia minora forms forcite. The posterior junction you can find out this anterior part. This is a posterior junction from which it is. For today. Yes, so this is the basic fundamental about labia minor. Okay, and now we talk about labia major. If we talk about labia major, there are two fold of skin. There is two large fold of skin. Two large fold of skin. Present around the 
found the we can find out the large fold of skin okay that is much larger in size than the labia minora these are two large fold of skin present around the vestibule but outside of labia minora present around the vestibule but outside the present around the vestibule but outside the labia minora Yes, the second point, this are, these are, they contain, I feel talking about, these are or they contain hairs, they contain, you can find out these are hairs, these are labia minora and the basic difference between labia minora and labia majora is, labia minora is which one? In comparison, is a which one small folds of skin and this is large fold of skin. The labia minora, devoid of hairs, they contain hairs. Clear? Okay, try to focus my if you take on the next part. Okay, this is a labia minora. Sorry, labia majora is homologous to scrotum. Of milk. Okay, you know scrotum? This is a pouch like structure which holds the testis in case of milk. If you talk about the this labia majora is homologous to scrotum of the milk. Clear? So these are the basic fundamental about labia minora as well as labia majora. Okay, and now we talk about perineum. Perineum. Yes. Okay, try to guess my you can find out this is vestibule, end of the vestibule, this is anus, the region found between vestibule to anus, the region found between vestibule to anus, yes, or, or it is the region found between forcite to anus, okay, both are correct, we can call it perineum, okay. It is the region found between vestibule to anus. We can call that perineum. I am giving some questions based on today's class that is external genitalia. Okay. These are very much important questions which is basically asked in CHSC as well as NEET exams. Okay. Let us focus. The first question is Clitoris is homologous to dash of milk. The options are penis, testis, epididymis, and corpus gland. External genitalia is otherwise called dash, labia minora, mons pubis vulva. Third question is Bartholin gland is homologous to dash of milk. Penis, testis, corpus gland, prostate gland. Anterior most part of the vulva. Which is act as a cushion is called as clitoris, mons pubis, labia majora. Yes. The next one, the larger fold of skin around the vestibule is called as. Options are labia minora, labia majora, mons pubis. Perineum found between das and das. Vagina and anus, corchite and anus, mons pubis and anus. Labia majora homologous to dash of milk, penis, scrotum, testis. Okay, clear students. So these are the questions on external genitalia. Okay, please answer all these questions in the comment box. Okay, thank you.